Hello everyone. Welcome to this lesson on microeconomics. In today's lesson, we are going to look at the fundamental concepts in economics. Imagine a world where resources are abundant and every need or want can be satisfied with no difficulty. This means that people would not need to economize their resources and could spend and use them anyhow to satisfy everything they desire to have. But the question is, is this the ideal situation in reality? We all know that resources are scarce or limited. People's wants are too many. So we are not able to satisfy all these wants. Thus, scarcity becomes an economic problem and everyone faces this problem. Individuals have many wants that they want to satisfy, ranging from necessities like food, clothing, shelter, and luxuries like vehicles, golden watches, and others. Businesses and governments also desire to satisfy numerous economic goals. Businesses want factories, machinery, warehouses, and other things that would help them achieve their production targets. Governments want to provide ultra-modern schools and hospitals, highways, and other social services. So this economic problem is why we need to study economics and understand how to make the best use of the resources to satisfy most wants, if not all, in, in a rational way. So how would you define or explain scarcity? Scarcity means resources are limited relative to the demand for them. Remember from our previous lesson, we made use of the fact that resources can be put to different uses. People have numerous wants but with limited resources, so they make choices. So basically, scarcity leads to choice. What then is choice? Choice is the act of selecting from an array of alternatives. Where there is a choice, then there are many alternatives or ones to choose from. Usually, people attach some relative measure of importance to their wants. So this brings about the concept of scale of preference. Scale of preference is the arrangement of wants in order of relative importance. This allows people to know which wants to satisfy first, second, third, and so on. We now know that scarcity leads to choice, but opportunity cost arises due to scarcity and choice. One thing that we should also know is that the choice of satisfying one alternative leaves others unsatisfied and so we've mentioned the term opportunity cost so what is opportunity cost opportunity cost is the next best alternative for gone in order to acquire another want for instance the amount of money a person spends on a commodity at a given point in time reduces that person's purchasing ability to spend on other commodities therefore opportunity cost of a choice is what was given up to make that choice. Now, let us cite an example. Suppose a student has to choose between two alternatives, such as attending a lecture or watching a movie at the same hour. But let's just say that this student actually attends a lecture, then the opportunity cost of this action is watching a movie. Now, what this means in practice is that by attending the lecture, the student gave up the opportunity to watch the movie and that comes at a cost hence the term opportunity cost so in our next lesson we are going to look at the production possibility frontier and the opportunity cost concept so see you in the next lesson